One of the things you gotta do when you're in Turks and Caicos is check out the world famous conch shack. You're watching Caribbean Vibrations. We're in Turks and Caicos for the Conch Festival 2014 edition. And I'm here with Mr. Corral from the Conch Shack. How are you doing tonight? I'm very well, Alan. Thank you. How are you? You know what? I'm actually good. You know, my first time here. I'm excited we just landed today. So for those people who don't know, I, I actually posted on Instagram, I'm going to Turks and Caicos, and someone's like, you gotta go to Conch Shack. Why do you have this reputation? Well, you have to come to the Kong Shack for more than one reason. We've been around for over a decade. The Kong Shack is the place to come because we're island authentic. Our food, our service, our rum punches, we create a vibe. We create a lasting image, a lasting memory that people will come to the Kong Shack and want to come to the Kong Shack during their six day or five day stay, one, two, three, four times. We serve the freshest Kong on island. We have our pens that we store Kong in. Our, our fishermen, our guys that go out daily, harvest the conch. The conch is moved from there to the kitchen, to your plates, fresh. Can't get any better than that. All right, so since we started our relationship, first time I'm meeting you, we have to drink some of this rum punch. You understand? So here's to new friends, and you're watching Caribbean Vibrations. You're watching Caribbean Vibrations. We're enjoying, we're at the Conch Shack. I'm having a great time. I've had a bit too many rum punches, but you know what? John, how are you doing tonight? I'm wonderful, thank you. Okay, so you know what? Like me, you're Canadian. What made you decide to say, you know what? I love Canada, but I want to come down here. Well, I do love Canada, but it has winter. And, uh, you know, come uh, October every year, it, it seems like a nice place to come. I came down here on vacation once and saw the, the beaches and the spirit here and just, I've been coming back, uh, lived here for 20 years now. Okay, so you know what? We were actually talking about the conch shack. We talked to Corel. But one of the interesting things that you told me is that during the off season and, and different times, a lot of the hockey players come down here. So I want you to name drop. I know you don't have to. You can't, okay. So you know what? Just Are there like NHL guys who come down here and stuff? Yeah, there's a lot of NHL guys that come down here. Okay, so yeah, and actually we play, we play hockey down here. And some of them come out and play with us. You, we don't have the advantage of skating. It's, 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 we got an arena and stuff, but you have to run. Um, so you can't glide, you know, the only ice we have here is in our drinks, but, but it's still a lot of fun and um, we all get together and we have a couple beers after and, you know, talk about how good we used to be. I like that, I like that. So would you have any advice for anybody who said, you know what, I love Canada, but I want to be like John and move down to Turks? Well, uh, you know, you, you got to take a chance. You know, I, I wasn't sure what would, I'd find when I came here. At, uh, but it seemed like something I wanted to try, so I took a chance, and you know I, I've, I've loved it here. I still love Canada. I'm, I'm there a lot in the summer, but uh, I mean, look at it. It's 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 unbelievable. It's uh, amazing to be down here. Well, perfect. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your hospitality at the Conch Shack. And you know what, people? You're watching Caribbean Vibrations.